Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Arsenia Creates. I am Gracie and for this video, I am going to show you how I made this cute peg bag. This is very easy to make. You don't need to buy fabrics. I just used an old bed sheet. I know you're familiar with this fabric because I've made um, a rockabilly dress with it already. And for the remnants of the fabric, I made this peg bag. But before we start, please don't forget to subscribe on this channel, Arsenia Creates, for more crafting and sewing. For the materials, we will use a woven fabric. I am going to use an old bed sheet. We will also need a double fold bias binding. Also an old children's hanger that we're not using anymore. And of course, a matching thread. Cut the fabric at 11 by 14 inches for the front and back sections and 11 by 7 inches for the facing. We will need an opening on our front section. I'm going to use this old peg bag as my reference. Fold the front section lengthwise and mark 6.5 inches from the top edge and 2.5 inches from the fold. I marked it near the first mark that I made. This will be the width of the opening that we're making. Draw a line from the top edge to connect it to the marking for the width and then connect it to the marking for the length. Try to make the line a bit curved to make the opening rounder and then cut. Now we need an opening for the hook of the hanger at the back section. Just like what we've done for the front section, fold the fabric in half lengthwise. Mark the fabric with one inch and a quarter from the folded edge and draw a curved line and cut. Now we already have the openings that we need for our front and back sections. Stitch the bias binding on the bottom edge of the facing. Now stitch the bias binding around the opening of the front section.
Lastly, stitch the bias binding around the opening for the back section. Pin the wrong side of the front section to the right side of the facing, then baste. Trim the excess fabric at the top edge. With the wrong sides together, pin the front section and facing to the back section. Now stitch the bias binding around the edges.
Make sure that you keep the hole for the hook opened. Our pack bag is now completely assembled. All we have to do now is insert the children's hanger. And that is how I made this cute peg bag. So it's from <laughs> this to this. And it's even bigger, I think. Thank you so much for watching Arsenia Creates. I hope this video is helpful. I hope you try making one of these. It's really cute and useful. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe on Arsene Creates for more crafting and sewing. See you next time.